How's it going guys? PB here and I'm standing in a huge line. Um, yeah, always get to convention like an hour early. Otherwise you're going to end up standing in a very, very long line that goes all the way down the road. We're not even on the site for the convention yet. So, um, and it's also going all the way down at the other end as well. Not just this way, both ways. So, um, I've got a lot of panels to go to today. Uh, a lot of them cosplay, which I'm looking forward to. And uh, we'll be wandering around the hall as well. So it's gonna be a lot of fun. I'm gonna take you guys for the ride. Um, hopefully I'll be able to record a lot of the panels. We'll just have to wait and see. <laughs> if I can, then you guys will see it very soon. So talk to you in a while. So I went to the Force of Will uh, stall because I want to try a whole bunch of new card games. It's been out for a little while but um, I haven't really had the chance to try too much of it. Uh, but I did manage to get this. So um, I'll be opening that up at some point. And uh, I'm also going to do a how to play um, thing with some of the people there which is going to be really fun. And I'll show you guys some of that as well so as I mentioned before I do have a few panels to go to but I wanted to I wanted to wander around the convention a bit and try and find some cool things I also got a few more DVDs because Madman has really good sales on um, their cheap stuff bargain bins for days and uh, yeah, today's gonna be a fun day. Okay, so I'm in Love Live and Character panel and my waifus are real life. I'm looking forward to this panel. Straight off that is Monica Lee cosplay panel. Amber Nash, which is from um, Archer and then Team 4 Star 18 plus. So I'm gonna be here for quite a while and I cannot wait. Hi guys. Hi. Hey, thank you so much for coming to Muse's performance. We appreciate all the support you've been giving to us. Before we carry on, we just got to go over some few ground rules just so you know everyone stays happy. So this is a PG-13 panel. You can take photos or short videos during the panel, um, just if you're posting them online. Uh, we really appreciate it if you put it with the hashtag uh, love live panel or get in so that we can find them afterwards. Just remember to refer to everyone in there in character names and yeah. So without further ado, Muse Musical Sato! So, our first round is questions. Yum! Because idols have to be up, prepared to answer anything. Isn't that right, Kaiochi? What's the most embarrassing thing that's happened in the show to you? Do I really want to say that? Have you seen how short these skirts are? <laughs> I nyard in every song, on every word. Start the I have forgotten the lyrics to so many songs, man. I did trip and whoop, panty shot. Nozomi got a little bit handsy one time on stage. It was a little embarrassing, everyone could see. <laughs> this entire experience has been an embarrassment to me and my family. Hi, dear, my wife, Nico, and... <laughs> what? And you <laughs> to do a duet. Okay. Would you do you have a song in mind? Artisan Navigators. What? Yes, <laughs> yes. No. Nico. Nico? Wait, no, I do. You do? Kiss Kiss Fall in Love. Yes. Ah, oh, yeah. Yeah. Rapping Rap God by the huh? name. Honika, can you help me please? I shall. Honika? Oh, yeah. I can't. I don't know Rap God. I do. I hate microphones. 
I hate my life. I'd be like, they're gonna nail it, they're gonna nail it. Go, you take the lead, I'll just sort of, oh. Man, oh man, it's 24-7 from the radio channel. The radio station, the radio station, the very next day. Hey, Fab, gonna kill you. Listen to me, Supersonic Speed, JJ Fab. I saw what I do when I'm a user. I'm here, I'm like, I do get three hums if you want. Innovative anime drops it in, you said, which jam for me, and ugly, I'm gonna say, well, it's a bit fast. You would die. We have a break dance swag battle. <laughs> it's on. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> doing some weird leg picky thing that we're not sure what Scar's move is, but she's oh competitive. God. She's ready to kill the competition. Who won? At this rate, you're gonna burn I would definitely say Katori. Coordination! <laughs> because I have Sky Miles with them so I can get three free bags. Oh wow. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I usually don't travel with three bags because I only have two arms. <laughs> so I always put a note in my luggage that's like, hey, TSA person or customs officer, there are some weird things in here. You may want to know what they are. I'm a cosplayer. I make costumes. Please be careful with all my costumes. A lot of the costumes I make, I have to be very mindful of like, if I make a giant armor costume, I can't fly anywhere. So I tend to choose my costumes based on how I can pack and where I can bring it. What's up? Is there any tip you would give to cosplayers when it comes to photo shoots? Oh, photo shoots. Um, I always say like practice. Um, I practice when I'm blow drying my hair because something about, I don't know, the, hair, the wind of the hair makes me feel special. And that's what I do in my <laughs> cosplay poses. Um, but if you don't have a friend, like a self-timing camera, um, just to get like a couple of poses down, um, especially in the mind of the character, and like practicing beforehand because it you know get to the con you're like someone asks you for a photo I'm like how do I pose like having you know either some good like a hand on a hip or depending on how the character kind of poses if they're cutesy or if they have a weapon um, for photo shoots like usually like work with your photographer because um, they're the ones who are seeing you through the lens. So you could be like, hey, like this part tends to fall down, or like, I think this side of my face looks ugly, shoot the other side. Um, and just kind of communicate with them about what you prefer, because it's your photo and your costume at the end of the day. And what's another tip? Always find the light. Because like, you know, the light's going to be this way, and you're posing, you're getting all these shadows in your face. Especially if you have a wig that's like really big, or if it goes over your face, you're always going to want the angle. That's kind of showing the part over here. He said, what's the hardest prop to get into events? Oh, the customs. Through customs or a 
honestly, I don't tend to have too much trouble with props because I find the more carefully you pack your luggage, the less they're like likely to root through it. Um, like if you just kind of throw your crap in, they're gonna be like, "What's this bundle of laundry?" Um, I've actually gotten more trouble traveling with my cosplay prints than I have with like weapons. Um, because it's a big stack of paper, and so they'll go through like, what is this? And I'm like, it's pictures of myself. <laughs> um, and I always joke, like, if I was in Lost and my plane crashed, everyone would be like, all right, get the medicine together, or get the med, like, all the bandages, and I'm like, oh, I got pictures of myself. <laughs> like, I would be the most useless on a desert island. <laughs> I have these costumes that are really practical. Nope. I've heard stories of people that actually carry on their like props with them, that way they don't have to worry about, like, they can see it at all times. Um, but I had a friend who actually went to Brazil, and she had a, Cami has like this big like gauntlet thingy uh, from Street Fighter, and so they took it out, and they're like, what's this weird thing? And they were like, oh, like cosplay pop, like Fragilio, and they went and took like a key and went down the side of it, thinking there was like cocaine in it or something. Um, and just completely destroyed it. Because I'm, I'm a bit more of a larger woman. If I tried to dress up as, let's just say, I don't know, Wonder, Wonder Woman, you know, what's your thoughts on someone trying to cosplay outside of their body type? I mean, I think that's the cool thing about the characters is like their body type doesn't define them. It's who they are and like their actions within whatever game or show and that's why people want to cosplay those, so a lot of people are like, oh, you can't cosplay that character because you're this skin color. Like, it doesn't matter because that is not the costume. The costume is the character and the outfit that they wear, and that's what defines them. Okay, so I've been in, like, two panels, one after the other. The next one coming up is uh, Amber Nash, uh, and she is from Archer. So um, I'm going to stick around and watch that, and then there'll be the Team 4 Star panel. The lighting is terrible in here. But, um, yeah, there was a Love Life panel that was awesome. Absolutely loved it. And then got to see some of uh, Monica Lee. I have the hair in my mouth now. Um, yeah, Monica Lee, which was amazing. She is so cool. She's been here, like, three years. Um, um, in a row maybe or at least three years so uh, she's awesome and um, having a lot of fun the room is full 14 four star like look at this I mean this is a reasonably small room but wow like people are going to be standing in the back about Jesus for a sec, guys. <laughs> nah, what was that? How about it? Okay, so, all right. Man made Jesus was a man who died for his senpai. How the fuck you doing, Armageddon? <laughs> okay, so my name is Taka Auto 101 from Team Four Star. <laughs> and the crowd goes mild. Absolutely, guys. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> I'm a, I'm a man in decline. It's good. Anyways, I voice Snappa, Guru, Dende, Bardock, Perfect Cell, and in Helsing Ultimate Abridged, I play Alucard. And, oh, come on, this was In Yu Gi Oh! Abridged, ever seen that show? Yeah. I play Gauss, the leader of the Aura Kakamalos, dude. <laughs> It's a rainbow world, baby. <laughs> Hi, everybody. I'm Lanny Pator. Yeah. yeah, the crowd goes milder. Yeah. Uh, Dragon Ball Z Abridged, I'm a co-writer, co-creator, uh, producer, uh, and yeah. I play Vegeta, Piccolo, Krillin. Love it. You love it. I do love it. Yeah, you do. You I love, love it. it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Master Roshi Shenron, uh, and a, uh, oh yeah, terrifying abyss known as Mr. Popo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got it. Taking order. Taking <laughs> order. Don't you tell me. Call me the Popo. Somebody's got it memorized. <laughs> I'll point to him if one of you needs to know. <laughs> Uh, let's see, Final Fantasy VII Machine Bridge, which we just posted the trailer for yes. Season 2 the today. The trailer for Season 2 is oh, right. It's coming back, guys! When is it, it exists after a year. Uh, when, when, did, when, did it, when did it say it was going up again? Uh, it's coming out the 27th, same day as Stranger Things. I know, tough competition! But I think Stranger Things can handle it. <laughs> 
I like how they moved it off Halloween because they knew everyone was going to be busy. Okay, you guys have a couple days before Halloween, so you can all talk about it during Halloween. We want to release it on a Friday, too, yeah. so... Yeah, makes sense, makes sense, makes sense. Uh, anyway, in that, I play Reven, and this season I will be playing Kate Sith! So that'll be fun! Woo! I can yeah, it. and of course, in Helsing Ultimate Bridge, I play the Major, also known as German Poon. <laughs> <laughs> how are you guys enjoying Super? Okay. Like I, every show, it has its ups and downs. Okay, okay. I have a bit. I have a bit about Super. Okay. Yeah, All right, let's, let's do this. Okay, I'm Matt. You know the bit. You know the bit, right? Yeah. And it's about the fight boy bit. All okay, right. so, so I, we're, we're I'll talking. play hit. I'll play hit. You play Vegeta. All right. Look, I gotta talk to you about Kakarot. What is it? All right. So. Yes, he's my rival. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but we'll get. We'll put a pin in that one real quick. Uh, what? I'll tell you this. During the tournament, he's going to find just someone. Someone that you think is strong. He's gonna think is really strong. He's gonna be drawn to that guy. No, he's clearly my. Oh, rival. you say that now. He was my rival before he was yours. So he's that can't find be, that. That can't be possible. Look, there he is. Oh, look at that gray dude with the big eyes. He can't take his eyes off him. What? And he walks. His head walks over to Goku. Walks over to Goku. Hello, Goku. I'm looking forward to our fight. Uh, uh, yeah, uh. Oh my god, you're a son of a bitch. <laughs> yeah, I told you, he's a regular old fight boy. Just a stupid fight boy. He's just a big old fight boy. Fight boy Goku in full effect during this saga. I have a new form now. Why? Uh. <laughs> I, I think Super... Ah, I got sucked into a black hole and now I'm great. At least appreciate that Vegeta's rivalry character is a magical, magical girl. Can we at least appreciate that? <laughs> That's what I'm gonna beat you down. I'm gonna beat you with the power of love. No! Oh, this is right. So this is where the prince of Saiyans has fallen. <laughs> I'm a princess. We should get married. No! <laughs> All right, let's go here. Uh, let's see, you sir, what's up? Uh, thank, uh, first off, I want to say, uh, you know, thanks for signing my balls. Yeah. No problem. <laughs> Dragon balls, guys. <laughs> Get yeah, your minds yeah, out of the gutter. Right, no. <laughs> sure. Um, if the show uh, continues into the boo saga, and I sincerely hope it does, I was wondering what you guys' thoughts would be on having the boo's various forms based on, like, celebrity chefs. <laughs> <laughs> well, like, 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 all, all of a sudden, Super Boo going, Gordon Ramsay shows up, Oh, this is fucking awful! Like, for wait a fucking hour? Are you fucking kidding me? because we finally got that So in the original script that you were fighting really hard for oh, I, I, I was going to go to war, I was going to die on that. I was pushing for it too. But As revisionism, you signed it with Scott. I am uh, in the uh, end side. I am! I was born I'm with the, the road. I'm with the people now. <laughs> True story. So in the original script, what I wanted for the um, 
Trunks, a Gohan, and Bulma interaction. Oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's literally, wow, Gohan, you've gotten much older. Much more masculine. <laughs> I need an adult. You Bulma, are an adult. You are an adult. <laughs> Gohan just gets his food, and it just cuts to Trunks looking at his ceiling, hearing Bulma and Gohan have sex in the other room. <laughs> Kame! Kame! Ah! Oh my god, you're so great, go on, call me Goku, shut up! I think it's super, and Trunks, yeah, and Scott says no. This like, Scott, it's an alternate universe, it's the only time! But in full credit, he, he edited the scene that way, and it's in the behind the scenes special as the joke too much that did not make it into the show. The joke that went too far. It's true. I don't think it went too far. <laughs> no, no, no. My, my favorite gone too far that I fought for was oh. in the uh, Krillin Ansel Halloween oh. special. <laughs> Even I thought this, this was too yeah, far. No, and this was your joke! <laughs> Don't put this evil in with the evil is on me. The evil is on me. What, okay. Then oh, we're in another play, country. Play right there and I'll play Cell. We're in another country. I can make this joke. Okay, here we go. <laughs> ah, basically, this is right after Krillin gets knocked into the plane. <laughs> well, well. Okay, lie down. Lie down now. We gotta death act this. <laughs> oh, no, uh, he, he gets in the pilot seat. So. No, he, they, oh, I thought it was like when he looks up. Oh, he so. gets in. The, he gets in the pilot seat. Ah, uh, well. Now, after now that I've defeated you, I'm going to go blow up the World Trade Center. Not if this plane gets there first. <laughs> Favorite gone too far moment. <laughs> just let just let him ask him to repeat it, Tiger. Yeah, are you guys ever gonna do a follow-up on Citizen Nampa? Oh. Okay. Oh. I'll have you know. I am working on one of the greatest movies ever made. <laughs> it's called The Fast and the Furious 10. <laughs> We're skipping nine like windows. <laughs> And you know what it's gonna be? It's gonna star Dwayne. It's gonna star John Cena. It's, it's gonna star lots of wrestlers, actually. And they're all just gonna be throwing cards at each other. And you are gonna go five times to see it. Will they go to space? Yes. But why will they go to space? They have family. Ah, uh, family. Family. Thank you all for joining us on the Team Star Battle. We hope to see you Monday for our other panel. Enjoy your fucking army. So we're at day two of Armageddon and uh, I have been sitting in panels all day like from 11.30 in the morning through till I think it was like 4.30 after Team 4 star finished and like you wouldn't think that you'll be tired after sitting and listening to panel after panel but uh, I'm getting that way. I have yet to go around and actually have a look at some of the other stalls, um, but I mean, as you guys saw, I did buy myself some Force of Will cards, and uh, I do have a few new DVDs as well, so that's pretty cool. Finding even more awesome cosplayers to take videos and photos of, which I absolutely love. I mean, just gonna turn this around. <laughs> So I'm absolutely enjoying myself, having so much fun. I'm wearing a Lolita outfit today. You guys have probably seen me wear this before in previous vlogs. And I also have a yukata that I made quite a few years ago. So uh, planning to cosplay quite a bit this time around and hoping to get quite a few footage that you guys haven't seen as of yet. Unfortunately I'm not going to be able to live stream because I'm running out of data so that is unfortunate. I'm really gutted about that. We have got some esports League of Legends over here. As you all see, you guys can't see because I'm so short but trust me there's League of Legends right there. I don't know what else I want to get. These are cool though. I'm going to show you this. I wonder how much these are. These are cool. They are awesome. These figures are epic. I don't own any Overwatch figures actually, so I have to pick something like that up at some point in time.
time. Do you guys own any uh, other than the Pops? Let me know. Actually, the other thing that I've got to do while I've got a little bit of time is go and actually get my signatures done. I haven't gotten any of the animation guest signatures. Uh, so I suppose we'll go and find those. I always get lost in these conventions. They're so big. I would get even more lost if it came to uh, going to the likes of Japan or America. Like, I would totally love to do that, but you know, that costs money and BB has no money. But uh, you Americans, let me know what the conventions are like that you guys have been to.